they started as an indexer manufacturer. Uh, they're out of Germany, uh, so like your Camcos and Stellrons and stuff are, are kind of in the same realm. Um, Weiss definitely brought everything up on an accuracy and speed level. Weiss got into that and then they really started to focus on linear solutions. So they have a full linear motor line and what you see here is the HP70 which takes two linear motors and makes it into a pick and place. One is pretty low cost, it's programmable, very simple to program, obviously can do all the Profinet, Ethernet IP, any sort of communications you want for integrating it. Um, where its real niche is, is really high speed automation where a robot can't do it. We also do linear motors on big carriages. So if you're using any, uh, I'll just name some out that I know of, is like the CKK actuators from Bosch, uh, or, or a servo ball screw actuator, or a belt actuator. Weiss makes a full line of linear motor actuators. So you don't have the motor, you don't have the gearbox, you don't have the backlash of the screw, you don't have the maintenance of the screw, you don't have the belt inside, you don't have any of that. It's a linear motor on a rail. Extremely fast speeds, working payloads up to and beyond 400 newtons, which comes out to be about 100 pounds. It's uh, strokes up to whatever you can dream of. Another thing that Weiss gets into, and I have some information up here and you guys can grab it, um, is what we call linear conveyors. Um, high speed linear conveyors focused on asynchronous linear conveyors. So you'll see some of the indexer manufacturers are doing a chain where they've got an indexer on each end and they can do a quick index like this down a linear conveyor. Um, the other side you see some that uh, like ATS has put out, I think Bosch, the Magna Move stuff is out where it's fully asynchronous, every pallet can go anywhere you want it to be. Um, Weiss has kind of went somewhere in between. The asynchronous stuff is cool, but it's really tough to program and wow is it expensive. Um, the, the, the single indexer stuff, it's neat, pretty limited application because most of the time you've got stations that have different spacing, you know, restraints, you've got stations that one's a really fast cycle time, one's a low cycle time. Um, so Weiss did is they have kind of the standard racetrack that you see here, you can make it a square, but also it has modules in the middle where you can make one at uh, 280 millimeter spacing, another one at 560 millimeter spacing, so you get the asynchronous movement all the way around it. So pretty neat stuff, that's why it's